Okay, so... I've noticed something. I've noticed that... Like... A lot of times if you want surplus stuff... You're gonna have to go online for it. Like, I went to Bud K to get the Hornets... The British Hornets kit. And it went to MOA Mountain... Which I, I'm plugging MOA Mountain too, because I, I like MOA Mountain. I actually bought something from there that's surplus. And it really is surplus, because you, you can't re, repro this one, this type of thing. And anyway, I think it's sad that we, that a lot of time you have to go online to get only surplus stuff. You know, military surplus stuff and all this. And, and that I I hate that that real Army Navy stores are disappearing. They really are, you know. And I'm like, this is sad, you know, because I love going to Army Navy stores. One Army Navy store I used to go to, I was Army in I was Army Navy in Orlando. I think the one I used to go to was closed forever. I have no idea if they've closed all the locations, but I got some good MOEs there, to be honest. This is when I was like kind of doing MOEs, but kind of not filming them. But there was there was like surplus stuff there. It was a, a it had a mix of the old like old stuff and new stuff. I got a hygiene uh, manual, field hygiene and sanitation manual. Cannot remember where it is. I've been trying to find it. So, you know, I think we should try to help keep these places open, you know? Because this is all, this is the past, you know? I know a lot of, I, there's a video I saw that said, because a lot of people don't want you stuff. Like, for me, I can get, like, like the, with the Hornets kit I have, I plan to use it. I do. And I plan to actually, you know, make, put a kit, make it a, make it a, like, survival type kit. You know? Because that would be the best thing for it. Put, like, just some, put stuff in there, like, that would help me survive. I did add two civilian type bags on there, but that was just to give it a customizing, customizable flair, you know? Now, really buy real Army Navy stuff. Because honestly, like, there was, like, honestly, when I got the Honus kit, nothing wrong with it at all. Yeah, a little bit of rust on one of the bags, but eh, that's nothing. You know, that, that's easy went off. It's like on like little things. That's that's nothing for me to you know do us. So literally, let let's literally try to find real Army Navy stores. And support them. Buy stuff. Honestly, you can find some great stuff from Army Navy stores. Now, one thing I hate is people going to Army Navy stores just to create, you know, fashion, like high fashion, or whatever, with the, with the silver stuff. That's stupid. Personally, that is stupid. Because that is a part of history. You know, you don't know what, you know, war, you know, the, say you buy a jacket from Vietnam. Right, a Vietnam era army jacket. And, you know, you don't know what that soldier, you know, had, you know, did in the war, you know? Like, what job he had. Like, that's what I do. I think about, okay, I bought the British, um, you know, Horace kit, and I was like, I wonder what job 
the the soldier that wore this, and it was worn, let's just get well here, you know, chose. It's actually in good condition, too, let me tell you know. Um, now, I like to think about that. I like to think about, okay, what history does this soldier have with this, you know, thing? No, I actually want to open an Army Navy store, a real Army Navy store. I really do. That's my goal one day, is to open a Army Navy store one day, you know? Because I like Army and Navy and military history. You know? Like, I was actually watching a um, one of those old films from like World War One, World War Two. Like the knife and club fighting one, you know? I think from Periscope Films? I guess? I don't remember. But that's interesting to me. You know, military history, you know, that's that's interesting because it's like, you think about, hey, in World War One, World War Two, what was this, sol this soldier who wore this? What was his job? What, you know, what thing did he do, you know? And that's why I, that's why we should be preserving and keeping in business these real Army Navy stores that, you know, sell old, like, jackets and all this. So, yeah. That's my thoughts on that. So, yeah. Anyway, peace, y'all.